have a good day. Now, is it possible here in the state of New Jersey I was legally high during the filming of this video? Alleged, but not proven probably. This video was done in the name of human science. Please do not recreate or reenact anything that you see in this video. Sit back, relax, enjoy. Have a good day. <sighs> LA Beast here, and today my mission is quite simple. And then it's to try and replicate the putrid smell of a skunk. If you've ever seen, while you're driving a car, somebody that just rolled over a skunk with their tires, you know exactly what smell I'm talking about. By utilizing a mother load of stink bombs that I bought for my wife years ago as a cheer up gift, as she told me, and I quote, I am having a stinky day right now. And not as much as my day is going to stink in roughly 17.8 minutes. Now my wife is away watching a family friendly dog named Bentley for the week. So I figured to myself, hey, what an opportune time. As I'm actually going to crack, I think all 36 bottles uh, of these stink bombs, I'm going to zipper myself into a clear tent that I purchased off of Amazon for $54.84. Really, $78.56? Uh, and I, I'm going to 100% see when it comes to the LA Beast versus a skunk. Can I do it? So with that said, uh, I, I've done further research to uh, is whenever a skunk gets hit by a car or whenever a skunk sprays a human being in the face, why it smells so bad. Uh, a skunk smells so bad because of a gland under their tail that produces and sprays their stink. The stinky spray is an oily liquid primarily made up of a substance called thiols with a sulfur component that is the earmark of the signature skunk odor. Thiols is what happens uh, and what causes people to say, hey, Something doesn't smell right. When talking about skunks. Now after doing further research as to whether or not my stink bombs are equivalent to a skunk spraying its juices in my face, uh, what I have discovered is in fact, these stink bombs were made in Chile. They contain irritants. All right, uh, so, so right here, right now, uh, before I actually get my butt up off this seat and go outside and do this, wearing my official, uh, it's a very well ventilated mask uh, i'm going to crack these open into specifically the same exact jar uh, that i once actually stuck my hand which had sodium acetate trihydrate i'm going to stick my hand in the jar let's say i'm going to stick my hand in the jar for like two minutes uh so it's like soaking into my skin and then, and then i'm going to take the mask off and i'm going to see how long it can last in this clear tent and you know what is i'm actually kind of thinking about it right here right now uh, I really don't want to do any of this. The next time you see me, uh, I'm going to be carefully opening these with a face mask on. Uh, and I'm going to actually, well, let's see what uh, these things actually look like in a clear jar. Here, here's the difficult part here. My neighbors are actually on their porch over there enjoying just a, a nice, beautiful day. Probably I'm wondering, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it down uh, if I'm opening up 36 things of stink bombs. Uh, what, is that going to be a problem? Oh my god, I, I dropped one, it smells like farts. It smells like farts immediately. I'm actually going to do, I'm going to take all of those uh, glass containers just to uh, take the, the safety and be safe about this. Uh, I'm going to put them all in here. I'm going to shake it up. Uh, and when the glass breaks, it's going to, it's going to break within uh, that container so nobody gets injured. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh, here we go. Oh my God. Oh jeez. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we are, uh, ladies and gentlemen. 
We're going towards the tent right here, right now. Oh my God. We are, we are still recording. Uh, I have this. Is, this is actually pretty insane right now. Oh my god! Okay, okay. <laughs> Look at it's this. Pretty much broken glass in a jar that smells like farts. Oh. <laughs> Whew. I'm, I'm gonna smell like cocky for the next three days. All right, uh, here, here is my right hand. Here we go. Now my thought process was, uh, they say that whenever you get sprayed by a skunk, you should take a bath in tomato juice. And I was going to see if that worked on my hand, but by the end of this video, I totally forgot to do it because allegedly, oh my god, I, I may have been legally ha ah, here in the state of New Jersey. You know, uh, honestly, it, it, it smells like white. Ca it smells like White Castle. Uh, all right, all right, here we go, here we go. Whew. Okay. All right, um, uh, it's, it smells as if, I'm, I'm I, like, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm actually encapsulated in a plastic thing. I just touched that. Um, it's, it smells as if I'm in the middle of a garbage heap. Like, um... Staten Island. Staten Island, like, like if I if I was in a, in a garbage heap in the middle of Staten Island, that's exactly what I'm smelling like right here, right now. Uh, honestly, like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like, there's green juice. <sighs> okay. Uh, fart cloud. Fart cloud. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, it's not only that I just smelled a fart cloud, uh, but it was as if a fart cloud went into my soul. <sighs> you know, I would, I would, I would honestly, I would definitely say this is one of the more unique experiences, uh, personally, that I've ever had. <laughs> this is, honestly, this is gonna be so bad. I'm actually sitting in a clear tent uh, with diabolical chemicals that are going to make me smell like uh, a very, very bad body odor, uh, AKA terrible body onions. Wow, okay, done. Interesting, that's a very interesting experience. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to throw this chair away. Um, well, I'm gonna have to throw the shirt away. Oh, you know what? My question is, how how long until the smell from the liquid goes away? This is the LA beast. I smell like shoot. Have a day. Hello? Why does it smell so rank in this house? Uh, it still smells bad. Oh. Smells like an onion factory. Well, Bio Central. I'm gonna try to replicate the smell of a skunk by using a mother load of stink bombs encapsulated in a clear tent in 95 degree weather. So, that could be why. Smells like a skunk family reunion. Maybe let's uh try and get rid of this the stench a little bit, huh? I'll go get a mop and bucket. <laughs> <That too. laughs>